that. We go into the decider here in the Asian close qualifier. It's two Koreans meeting each other. It is Thunder versus Soin in a best of five. Best of five series. Before the game started, I, I made sure to tell Soin this is best of five, by the way. This has every now and then not been fully understood by the players, so uh, they should have made the vetoes properly. So, um, yeah. What are we going to be seeing here? Thunder, normally a player who loves fast expanding against human, against orc, I mean, that's certainly a lot harder to do. But some humans have been attempting this regardless. Thunder, what's he going to do? He's going to start off with a fast scout tower. That's sort of surprising already. Oh. Okay. Wait a minute. Expecting going? some wolves? So the standard play here is just to pull out the Merc Camp, get the Shadow Priest, and then creep up on one base, try to level, and then get Mountain King, and so on. Question is, which school of thought does he follow? The Rifles or the Breakers? And oh my god, he's going for the lab. Thunder is crazy. Thunder is oh, legit okay. crazy. If this... Wait. Oh, this, this water elemental was stuck on the little edge. Oh, that's so annoying. <laughs> oh, that's quite some damage. And the fast here, is he having the right read? No. He's militia! Oh, one down! If he gets the Book of the Dead, though. Yeah, that's pretty good. Ankh. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty bad. Parts here. That's rough. Okay, Arcane Tower. Oh, it seems late. Isn't that tower late? Kinda. It's still taking a while. Can he block the end? Oh, no. Wolves oh are hungry. God. Oh Wolf. my god, that's so many dead peasants. This does not seem worth it at all. One, two, three. Denied, though. And at least one died to the creep camp. Another one is most likely going to fall. It's going to make it five. Dude, okay. Is he going to be like two minutes behind in tech? Uh -huh. Something like that. That is incredibly low lumber. That's a yikes forever, boys. Uh, Fasio is also kind of low. So maybe with some chip damage, he can stop this harass rather quickly. But someone must have a big smile on his face. Oh, Woofy, Woofy, Woofy hungry. Got him. And a footy, and that's level two. Yeah, that's a quick level. Oh, oh dude. This is what my off-race human games look like. <laughs> do you want to give us your best Bidu impression? I can't do impressions, man. I'm so oh, bad. Oh, 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 that's a rough one, boys. <laughs> that's a rough one, brother. Yeah, bro brother. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where do you go from here? Um, north is the answer for now. Trying to dodge the fast here, but the wolf... Have you heard Ricky do the Soul Glider impression? No, what? No! <laughs> that one is so good, dude. <laughs> when he talks about Japanese poems and stuff. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I didn't see that. Oh, item stolen. Six Wands of Illusion now. I would just sell them. Every time I find one of Illusion, I just sell them. I'm like, screw this item. Hate it. I oh, oh, the surround. Nice surround. I just do, uh, like, four units surrounds with them all the time. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely helps me in my games. Thank you, Dunkable, for the 17-month resub. Less than three, my man. Thank Players you. Forces are under attack. Footmen are creeping the Murlocs. Interesting. That should be quite some poison damage. Thunder's trying... Free? Thunder's trying to find answers here, but it's not easy. This aim needs to get level 3 and then apply a lot of pressure to make this an even game again. Yeah. Is that Thunder enough? Is seriously, like, half a tech behind. <laughs> oh, it's not quite level 3. Feels bad. Ah, wait. Ah, Water Elemental cre cleared the rest of the green over there. Nice. Okay, that's good. Alright, he has to go into Elemental now and then... Put on the screws. Yeah, but that's the last one for a while. And he's wasting a little bit of time with this Wand of Illusion. Proves again to be a great item. 
I don't know what he can do with no mana now. Yeah, before there's at least two shaman, he can still prevent the TC from creeping quite well, even with just one elemental. It's a little awkward for Soin now, and this is how you slow down the orc. Even if your attack has been slowed down immensely, if the AM gets to level 3, this is how you can apply pressure, this is how you slow down the TC, this is how you make sure that TC doesn't get completely out of control. But the AM shouldn't get surrounded. Oh, that's kind of dangerous, if there was a purge there. Tier 3 tech. MK, Griffin, Aviary, oh. Tier 3 tech. Let's go, Thunder. Na 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 na. Thunder. Hate that band. <laughs> Every time you have to say it, dude. <laughs> yeah. Every time we talk about it. <laughs> I know you're a big fan. I know you do a uh, little moonwalk thingy in your off days, but. I just think they have a few good songs. I think they should stop touring, though. And they just like did a new album last week. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah. Like, if. If your dad is 76 <laughs> years old and still wants to run on stage, you have to be like, at some point, like, bruh, come on. Tell just, that. Just sit in your chair, watch the MASH reruns on television. You're fine, dude. You don't have to keep doing this. But what if you get $30 million for it? You don't even, they don't even have enough time to spend it anymore. Just take it slow. I think they just love Life on the road. When you're 70 years old, Jesus, everything hurts. <laughs> they got drugs for that. When the groupies come, you try to lift them and suddenly your back break. It's embarrassing, <laughs> you know, it's... <laughs> ah, they got assistance for that. <laughs> the town is under siege. That'd be sure weird as fuck, dude. <laughs> oh, nice timing by Thunder. Canceling this expo. No! What? what are you doing? Are you what? He loves the high ground creeps, apparently. Why? Okay, there was raiders with ensnare. Maybe it was the right call. Yeah, it was more important for him to creep over there than to cancel the expo. All right, so it pushes into the main, sees the tier three. Yeah. Dragon <laughs> Sees the dragon, dragon hogs, hogs and he's probably laughing his ass off now. Those are some of the worst units in the game. Just yesterday we had a game where 42 was ahead by 30 supply with dragon hogs in a game that was seemingly unlosable. Guess what? He lost because he played dragon hogs. Well, going for griffins now. Just making sure he can intercept these bat riders, you know. And with the zeppelin play, I really like what Thunder was doing here. Oh, he's come home quick though. Ooh, lightning shield in the main could become very painful very quickly. Go for it. Lightning. Nah, nah, nah. Oh my god. Zippity zap over the top maybe. Dude, no. Thunder can never ever build an army. Oh, the Alchemist didn't TP with the AM. And the, the AM, AM stuck is here. so dead. Is he? My lord and savior, this is a disaster. From front to end. He actually let this AM survive. That was kind of sloppy. But yeah, I uh, think still far enough ahead. I... Maybe. Yeah. TC dropping low. There's a TP. Ah, chain lightning, not bad. Alchemist, heal spray. The chain lightning was used already. And Thunder and lives to see another day. And the shop was killed. He doesn't have a region scroll. He doesn't have priest. Look at the corpses and <laughs> the peasant line. That's so many. That's a boneyard. And just rinse repeat for so and heal up. Run across. Maybe get a heal scroll. Have fun. Be mask so nice. Ring as well. Good items for so and all across. Creeping this mercenary camp is a little ambitious. I Illusion will scout this. Ah, so in seven. Very fun games today. I guess he's enjoying this day of the qualifier. Expanding. 
back of this. This game seems utterly unlosable now. But we saw Fortitude lose a game yesterday, which, well, honestly wasn't looking as bad as this one. Soin is mixing a lot now, switching a lot into uh, piercing damage, into range against Griffins, of course. That makes sense. Wednesday on the Dragonhawk. Stump on the ground army. This is nasty. The Griffins don't look like heavy air. Diddy! I mean, Thunder put on a good fight for what it was, right? But after this initial creep spot, things were looking dicey already. Big risk. I wonder how much of that comes back to the Watch Elementals bugging out there against the against the ramp. Maybe that's why it took so much damage. Maybe. He lost like seven peasants in the first three minutes. That's just... <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, that can't really happen. Then your tech is super late. Everything is super late. If he gets a Book of the Dead, maybe he can flip the script in the early, but... Low chance of that. He only got the Ankh. Hmm. What does that tell us? Does that say to us that Thunder does never want to play a straight up game? Against so in here, he's just gonna try some way to cheese, be it with a Griffin Rush or expansion or something like that? Well, I mean, that's Maybe. Thunder's uh, style in general, right? He never plays straight up games. Plays a lot of Blood Mage first, always has interesting strats off meta. Against Michael yesterday, he had a few uh, <laughs> Stanner games. Not all of them, but some of them. It is pretty rare for him, though. Um, maybe he thinks he's not on par with the micro and with the execution, so he's relying on special strats. Let's go normal. Was, wasn't Thunder on Terranus in that game where he played Blood Mage into Flame Strike, the Haunted Goldmine Rush? Yes, of course. <laughs> that was a fun game. You I lost my believe mind me. in that game. All right, so you think? what are you thinking, Neo? Blood Mage again? <laughs> first, let's go. No, no, no. Uh, oh, wait. What did? He, uh, what's his style against Orc here? Um... It it could be a Blood Mage, but not with Flame Strike, but Siphon Banish. But I th think it's a normal opening. Indeed. Altar pointing north toward the Tuscars. Seems like that's something that Thunder prefers. Delaying his tech a little bit, getting level two fast. Interesting how different humans handle this differently. Some go for fast expansion, some go for greedy creep camp, some go for a standard three farm tech with a normal amount of AM and footies. Some like to go super greedy, like Chimiko, two farm tech into rifles. But it seems like it's only Chimiko nowadays. Yeah, rifles, of course, have been buffed again. Some humans have been picking them up more once again. Chimiko comes to mind. And out of all the humans, it seems like Chimiko is riding the biggest wave right now over the last few weeks. That's true. TH played a lot of rifles as well versus Night Elf. So they are back too. We have a Foss here. I was kind of hoping for TC Headhunters from Soin. He loves that combo, but not the case. Also, no scout. Doesn't make use of that plus one food just yet. Because, of course, he wants to attack as fast as possible before the Farseer drops. There we go. And again, this early scout tower. So, what's the risky creep spot this time? Just the Tusca? Just the Tusca. So once again, Thunder slowing down his uh, tech by quite a bit, especially compared to the Orc super fast one. So hopefully this time the creeping works out a little better. That looks pretty good. AM tanking some damage. Water Elemental tanking most of the damage. This is like a perfect creep over here, man. How different an early game can look. And yeah, now I'm really curious. 
how does this game go when the early game is not a complete disaster and especially if you have a greater mana potion that you can use against Boros? Well, the AM heads north right away. We can see the tower is way better timed this time around. And now he wants to creep up probably a little bit more, get more creep camps, get level 3, force the Farseer to his side of the map, and then maybe militia creep in the meantime. This is pretty cool, I like this. Okay, going for the green, dodge the Farseer, who kind of accomplished nothing so far. Zero experience, nothing killed, last hits are amazing for, or would be amazing for Soa now. Hashmage got it, and again illusions. Good start here for Thunder, I believe. His tech starts now, which is definitely quite a bit behind the orcs. Maybe one and a half minutes. A player's forces are under attack. And again, with the tech so far behind, you need to make sure you get level 3 AM. Is he going to be able to do this now? One wolf is trailing. The Archmage is going to see him over at the other green, other side of the map. Farseer might be able to take out one footy. Not quite. And with this green camp over here, Maybe Militia going out of the green. This might be level 3 for our Korean human. Ready. What do we have? Mental of Intelligence. A little bit more damage. Will help for the push that's to come. Farsia still wants to prevent this level 3. Where is he going? Can you creep the expansion? Do you want to? With two footmen? Not really, right? Is he just going for the base trying to cancel buildings? He's a little far away for that. Ah, he's creeping the green at the same time. Is that level three? Ooh, no. Oh, the Farseer next to all these peasants. Ah, he almost caught them. This time, the movement for Soin not quite as on point, it seems like. He's always running after the AM, trying to find him, going where he just was, not going where he's going to be, which is, of course, very hard to do. And a map like this, where there's a lot of green camps, very, very hard indeed. AM finally gets oh the level up perfectly on the dot. And that took good old water elemental pushing time. That took a long time. I wonder if he could cause more destruction if he goes with level 1 water elemental but use the mana potion. But we'll see. It's too late for the launch. It might be in time for the beastery. Most important was maybe the burrow. But for that, it's also too late. I think this push fails. Oh, stomp on everything. But nice around. Going for the TC, that seems like one of the worst targets. It's ambitious, huh? He can huh? use his mana, and even if he dies, he's going to be like, great, I'm going to come back with full HP and 100 mana then. Yeah, he can also go for a potion if he wants to. Yep, that's what he's doing. Mana potion as well. Stop! No oh! TP possible! Oh, boy. Ooh, oh, Thunder, that wasn't too great. Level ouch. 2. Yeah, ouch, ouch is definitely the right word here. How to very quickly lose your lead. If he uses double water elementals there and just pushes the burrow, even if he doesn't kill it, it forces so many resources, it buys so much time to catch up with the tech. But I guess he saw the TC popping out. He was like, man, that could be a cool surround, but that yeah, guy I mean, has Stomper. That is one of the reasons why the orcs go for this fast tech, right? To have this TC out early. And if you can kill him right away, then the reason for the tech... It's kind of gone, but this backfires. Already level two without a single creep spot. Ring of protection, nice for him as well. Thunder needs a little miracle again. Mountain King gonna be coming out soon, but this is a big experience lead for our Torn Chieftain. Good item for the AM at least with a lion horn. Double Sanctum, no rifles in Thunder. So one can just... He's just having an easy time now. If everything goes according to plan, he's going to be level 3 in a bit. Thunder needs some sort of creep jack or catch so one off guard. But for that to work, he needs breakers and storks and higher level mountain king. Gotta take some risks. And snare. Might be able to force the TP here. Oh, not quite. Dude, these stomps have just been amazing. Oh, <laughs> it taps out. GG. Thunder 
Does he want to play this map anymore? No, not really. Uh, that was painful. <laughs> Chat at the moment of the AM dying. Small losses. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little bit extreme. <laughs> That's a little extreme. Ah, uh, Toxie, man. It was fun to have him on. All right, Third match man. points. Echo Isles. Is this where Soin finishes the deal already? Would be quite the thunderous performance for him on the second day. 2-0, 3-0. <laughs> Yeah, he's... Oh, that wasn't even intentional. Oh. He's having a good day today. Sini is playing Fortitude at the same time, but I don't know a score. Shao Kike, of course, qualified already. And that's the update I got. Is there anything else in the bracket? 15 Sway and Shishi is kind of completely missing so far. Pink still waiting. Don't know what's going on there. I'm going to try to get in contact with the boys later on. But uh, first, we go on to our third map, Echo Isles. If there is a map to fast expand on, I guess it's this one. Yeah. Let's see how that works. So, and definitely the man of the hour. At least here today in the Asian DreamHack qualifier for the last season, the winter season. We have Thunder. Needs a reverse sweep. Needs a Focus-esque comeback now. We've seen this twice from Focus yesterday. Maybe Thunder learned something from that. So Thunder in the upper right, someone in the bottom left. And it's not a super fast tech this time. Farsian and Grunts this time. Going... A little bit uh, hand in hand in the early game. No peon scout. Very often on this map, we'll see a peon scout to see what the human is up to and to see the shadow priest away from the human side right away. You can do that with the first peon coming over, but uh, not going to be the case here. Oh my, what? Blade master. Blady Bladeson. And a scout. Apparently love some high crits. Mucho surprised. Lots of claws here. Shop control can be used, of course. Okay, maybe he's just feeling it, you know? Maybe he's just in the mood for some sword dancing. Yeah, we have seen a bit of Blade Master play returning for Last Refuge. On Last Refuge is really strong because you can go for a quick tech without a shop. You can go for the circlet and the first item from the High Priest. Take barely any damage and then pressure the AM very successfully. Still preventing him from leveling up. This is the entire Orc early game strategy. Delay the AM. Don't let him level up. And normally the Farseer is the better hero to do it. But if it's not a Farseer, the Blade Master must attempt to do the same thing. The problem also with the Blade Master late game is... Why he uh, went out of the meta in the first place is that with Clap and Slow, the Blade Master was getting controlled really hard in this matchup. And uh, was neutered very often. Humans love to play rifles with that. And with Thunder attacking here so fast, a two farm tech, a la Chimico. Perhaps this is going to be rifles for the first time. I was wondering if Soen goes for the marketplace early on, but not the case. His movement is a little weird, I think. Going to the right, checking out the marketplace, going to the south for... Wait, is it... It's not seven? What's he going for? Next circlet. Okay. Merchant instead of marketplace. Now, with this camp, you take very little damage. You preserve a lot of mana as well. You don't have to use any Windwalks here. And you get a lot of experience. The item drop isn't the greatest, but the experience is certainly very handy. AM is coming in. Oh, nighttime just fell, so. Yeah, can you block the grunt? The grunt? Uh, focusing on the blade, interesting decision. I think you could have. 
gotten that grunt. Mm, not sure. He gets the ogre probably. And Blade Master moves away from this. So it's not that much experience. Just easy Berserker cancels. And you were right with your rifle call, the man. All right. So Sawin feels he can defeat the rifle clap strategy with the Blade Master. Something that uh, no orcs seem to be able to find an answer to. A long time ago. When was that switch to Farseer TC? That's like at least one and a half years ago, right? Kind of, there was a buff on the Farseer, wasn't there? Definitely on Chain Lightning. Also on Wolves, I believe, that they give less XP or something? I don't... Like, that was a long time ago, though. It wasn't right after the Farseer buffs where it became part of the meta. It was really, especially TH and Infi, playing Rifle Caster with MK, and then the Blade Master just seemingly having no chance. And then the Orc, because of that meta switch-up, being forced to play something else. But so far, I think uh, this is decent here for Soen. He's hanging around the AM. He's making sure there's no level 3. Yeah, the Blade Master isn't leveling up too hard himself, but it's really the level 2 Watch Elementals, which you have to prevent... And the early game creep out here by Thunder, not the most attack. amazing I have ever seen. Just standing in the middle here. It's nice that he prevented level 2 blade. And he still wants to hang around the middle. So a lot of focus on this mauler. Speed troll to get the footy and put damage on the AM. Okay, that was also level 2. Alright, nice little play. But speed scrolls are crucially important for playing against human and slow. But then again, the question is, how much slow are we going to have? Because the human has to start off with some priests and then go into some sorks. And of course, there's only going to be one sanctum or two. All right, then. On the other side, Shadowhunter and Walkers was the call. Lightning shield for him. And yeah, Please Raider Walkers. I haven't seen that in a long time, I think. Mountain King is out already. Both will focus on their second heroes. This means very expensive dispel. Wouldn't mind to see a couple of sorks. Mount King starting off with a nice camp. With the militia call, you can pretty easily creep the marketplace. This is a standard for human to do on this map. This is why Blade Masters like to go for this major camp early to take. How does Ricky say it? The, the cheese of the bread right away. <laughs> This is a sick lightning shield camp here. Went super smooth. Super fast as well. We do have claws in the marketplace and circlet and gloves. Like, hmm, just pick your favorite there. It's gonna be a strong blade master down the road for sure, but still needs some time. Raider Walker needs some time to get online. Rifle Casters also need some time to get online. But Thunder, having the mercenary camp and the Murlocs and the expansion, it's going to be a powerful hero combo soon. Yep, he's coming online. Good items here as well. Claws bought at the marketplace for the AM. Ring for the Mountain King is actually in the late game very strong for him. And going to be level 3 here soon. Lake Master just missing one last hit for the level 3. Can he steal the Magi here? I guess he can. Definitely. With two gloves, two circlets. That's a nice inventory already. As uh, Thunder is busy with this camp. Man, this lightning shield helped so in quite a bit to creep. Ring of protection. I was about to say, leaves it on the ground, but uh-uh. Very tanky MK. Late Master comes in, got the level 3. He's gonna go in. This is dangerous. Oh, he does it. No storm bolt. No dust. I guess without dust, he's he's fine. It's fine. You know who's also fine? The player's forces are under Who? Pivo Frag, because he just resub for the 52nd time. Pivo Frag is a very, very fine, handsome human being. Pivo Frag. Three gloves, mate. Okay, sells one. Oh, shop control. Gets the invul, gets the heal scroll. Important purchases. 
for Soen. He's at 50. He got good levels. Could just go. Yeah, this could be a very strong fight for Soen. He's got a level 2 heat wave against only level 2 Mountain King. No level 3 for him. No clap level 2, which would usually be the choice there. But Soen lost track of his opponent. Good movement here by Thunder. Taking the rare avenue to the south on Echo Isles. It's going to look for an expansion, sees there is none, and gets to creep up a little bit more. Forces are under attack. Okay, very, very calm game. So far. Not too much left here. Oh, Soen is preparing a shop next to the shop. I like that. So he controls the shop with a shop. Oh my god, it's like the exhibit strat. When's someone gonna go into upkeep? What are they gonna be fighting Blade over? Forces. Soon it's not gonna be many creeps. Most creeps taken out. Blade Master could get up to insane armor values. That does not protect him against clap damage, however, but still very good against right click. I would sell the second ring though. Easy cancel for Thunder. No expansion for him. As Breakers and Priest waiting in the main. I like that. Changing the rally point so you don't run into the orc army. Expansion plans denied. This is probably the best game for Thunder so far. Alright. Base race. Here we go. Thunder higher in supply, by the way. The pillage for so in a little bit late. Forces the TP right away, though, with reinforced defenses. Not that much so in can do. Eh, Thunder can do. Speed scroll. And he's out. MK trying to reach for the Stormball. He's got the boots. Could be able to catch up, but... Yeah, that's it go, I guess. He can be so oppressive. He got pillage now. He can always run back to the shop, get a speed scroll, and just do it again. Footman is scouting for another expansion. That's exactly what Soin is doing. And Thunder still needs a solution to come back into the series, otherwise he won't be participating in DreamHack and Soin is back. Imagine if the blade had a telly staff and now harassed the footies or the peasants. That would be so annoying. Shop getting cancelled over and over. No yeah. shop means no breakers. Wait, there was a breaker once, so he cancelled that. But yeah, one breaker doesn't do too much. He's going for Sorceress Adept, so a little bit of invis casting. Shop in the bottom got killed. A player's forces are under attack. But yeah, against Spirit Link, breakers are pretty fine. Oh, Thunder is catching the army though. And he's only catching half of it, which is perfect for the human. One walker taken out kill. right away. Okay, does he want to fight now? With two heal scrolls and the mana potion, I think he's in a decent spot. Invo potion on the blade as well, so hero focus probably not the best answer. One breaker gone, thanks to the Kodo. So what's the plan for Thunder? He needs a good fight, Shadow Hunter! Oh, that was a long stun. Felt a little longer than normal. So he needs to heal himself, forcing some waves early. Definitely seems like Thunder has the stronger army here though. A few casters dying, but now Militia coming in. More damage being added in by the human. Shadowhunter running out of mana slowly but surely. Another clap. These claps always doing tremendous damage. Yeah, what's the last and this one? That's what I was talking about. Like this clap rifle army is just so good against Blade Master. So one can kind of hold his ground, I feel. Cancels more or kills more casters. And he's expanding on the back of things. There's more healing, but he doesn't want to go. Adds the TP out. Rare to see an orc TPing out, not speed scrolling out. And all right. Depending if this expansion comes up or not, scans immediately. This could have been decent for Swim, but he needs to heal, he needs to regen, and he needs to hold. And goes for the TP to be safe. Oh, he doesn't. Never mind. Going for mana items. That opens... The floodgates again for Soen to be aggressive. He does have pillage. But not much of an army left.
double invul on the MK now. And so in tries the base raid. With pillage, gets a little extra gold. But it's only one raid. Two raiders, not the biggest army. Oh, this expo, this expo! Oh, he lets it finish! Not good! Not good at all! That's a huge waste. Or was it TP for an expo? So gold is kind of similar there, lost. He forgot but three units. They're not in this fight. This army is very small for Thunder. He's taking out the priest. That's the sustain going away. No more healing here for Thunder. And Blade Mass is critting away. The attack speed is pretty crazy. Oh, yeah. big clap. He has a potion. He can go for more claps. We also have some healing. Another healed scroll as well. Very decisive fight. Reinforcements for Thunder are coming in. That's the slow that was completely missing as well. Alright, these sorcerers are going to certainly make a difference here. And there's no TP, no speed scroll anymore. So it's Shadow oh. dropping low speed scroll. Uh, Spirit Link to protect him. That might not be good enough. Heal wave as well, but he is dropping in dangerously low in Vol Potion. Transferred. Mountain King still has one storm bolt. Wonder what he's gonna use it on. Shadow Hunter is so dead soon. Needs the invul, then seven seconds, and then he should be killed. Oh, the clap! Yeah, if there's no heal scroll against this anymore. Oh, hey, yeah. the rolling stone. There's an invul as well. Not allowing a crit this time. Oh my god, this is such a scrappy fight. Jesus Christ. Super close. And Thunder definitely lost a lot more yes. over here. Killed Master, the expo, almost level five. Go for claws. There's no claws in the marketplace. How is that even possible? <laughs> We're on Echo Isles. <laughs> Three out of four chances, I guess. Yeah. That's a little rough now. Man, if only had the sorcerers in the fight, the everything would have been a little easier. Blade Master is playing the shop control card once again, but there's still an invul here. Thunder really wants to. You can go for it. 40 supply and broke, though. That expo hurt Soen. If only he had cancelled it. Alright. Mana is looking good on the walkers. Level 5 Shadowhunter could be tremendous. With that, perhaps you can outheal the clamp damage. Full mana MK, but no potion. Gets the invul here, probably. Okay, map is pretty empty now. Invis scouting water attack. elementals. Nice position, so he sees so incoming if he uh, would be going for another base race, but he's focusing on hero progress. Oh, one Ooh, XP away. <laughs> Unfortunate. Oh, water geez. elemental sees the army now. Well, that's level 5. It is. Now we got level 3 crit. And not that far away from heal wave either. Thunder, can you muscle up and kill this expansion one more time? Another heal scroll in the shop. I imagine someone will want to grab that one. Hells yeah. He's got a lot of healing now. He Missing does. maybe a clarity on the shadow. Yeah, no mana potion, no clarity. Shop is far away. But maybe he has some time. Thunder, is, is he out mining? Oh, 3,000 still under the domain. Okay, so we're just sitting on this great hall now. I'm kind of surprised Soin isn't moving in position for a counterattack. If he was just standing next to the marketplace, he would make it really difficult for Thunder Players to go for the right play. I think he's had enough of these expansion cancelled now. He just wants to make 100 million percent sure that this comes through. That's kind of the case. If he loses the fight here though, he's probably gonna lose the game. This MK has a lot of mana.
You can scroll in on invo oh, reveal. That's one dust gone. One heal, two heal scrolls for Soen. Tome of Retraining. Oh. Lizard? Oh, against yeah. Raiders and there's no Hex. There's Hex. Against Raiders and Hex. A player's forces are under attack. He wants to fight. Yeah, he doesn't want to fight him in the bottom. There's also a needle hole, but uh, this is a bigger one than the bottom. Ooh, instant kill on the raider. So in breaking upkeep now. And I'm willing to use the spirit link because of the breakers. I think you could outmana them though. But oh well, here we go. Just going Bad for the MK, it. who's super tanky. But okay, Archmage, next target. Here's the crit for 208. Down to 50%. He has two inward potions on the old man. Kodo, both eight. Shadowhunter mana, limited. Shadow getting focused now. Needs the spirit link. Woo. Oh, heal oh, wave. Oh, Has oh. a heal scroll as well. Dispel, potions, invul. Very chaotic now once hex. again. AM getting hex, getting focused. And snares flying. In so this. I hero kill. Oh. And he's down. No water elementals, no brilliance or anymore. And the shadow hunter apparently oh, moving run. away. Stumbled to the back of the head. And tavern revived for the archmage. Not really worth it for the shadow hunter, I feel. Except there's a shop on the bottom, but maybe it's time to clean this up. Everything is super hurt. A kingdom for a heal scroll for Thunder now to make this a series and to stay alive at Dreamhack. Oh, oh more snares flying. It's just barely enough. GG is called 3 0 for Soin. 3 0 for Soin, indeed. And very convincing fashion. Thunder throughout the series got better, but it wasn't enough. Soin just too strong today. No chance for Alice, no real chance for Thunder, and so on, in the top 16 of Asia. Well done, well done. Definitely deservingly so, I think. He lost to Focus, but Focus is a really strong player currently, and the other opponents he easily almost, it seems like, defeated. Yeah. So we have two more slots to be given away. Indeed. So she, she 15 Sway in pink is one branch and Fortitude and Sini are fighting over one slot as well.